Oh, here's something different once again. I was kind of intrigued by this really big bottle and the price. It was uh, $49 Canadian and it is 1.75 liters. That's like, that's a lot of whiskey. It's called Punjabi Club. Now I thought, oh, what is this, a whiskey from India? No, it's not actually an Indian whiskey. But the family that owns the distillery, the Minhas distillery, Minhas is a Punjabi name, the family is obviously um, from India originally, and uh, the Minhas distillery is located in Monroe, Wisconsin, not too far from Madison. Now, this is a rye whiskey. I don't know how what percentage of it is rye. They have a, you know, a, a, take a look again. It's, you know, Punjabi Club. Uh, and this, uh, the price is right. And uh, who would have thought in Wisconsin that they're making you know, uh, a rye whiskey, but it is a rye whiskey from Wisconsin. I don't know how much rye is in the mash bill. I don't know what else is in the mash bill, but I'm going to give it a try for 49 bucks for basically more than two bottles. Uh, more, it's less than $25 for a regular uh, 750 mil whiskey at the price this stuff is selling. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. Maybe, maybe it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I usually like most whiskeys. And here's the kicker. It's bottled at 50% alcohol by volume. So if it's got any good flavor, it's going to be carried by the uh, by the alcohol content. I don't know how old it is. There is no age statement. It's got a cheap plastic top. So let us see what the men has to say. Oh, it's got one of these. Euro pour things, or uh, third world country pouring things, so that oh, it's not too bad. So that you can't get whiskey back into the bottle after you've poured it out. Ooh, makes a glug glug sound too. What a jug, eh? What a jug. Okay, well we've poured one drum of this stuff. Now let's see. For in order for it to be called a rye whiskey, which it is called. It has to have at least 51% rye in the mash bill. <sighs> well, let's see. You know who they're marketing to, obviously. They're marketing to Punjabi folks. And uh, they're known for enjoying a good whiskey. Did you know that half the whiskey in all the world is consumed in India? So whiskey's a big deal. Oh, I like the nose. Immediately I'm smelling rye. I'm smelling rye. That spicy rye note. There's also a note of leather. Mmm. Leather and rye. Mostly leather and rye. What else are we getting? Mm. That that's an interesting nose. It's it reminds me a little bit of an Indian whiskey that I did try, which would be Mohan Meekin's Solan Number no. One, but. That one was a malt whiskey. This one is a rye whiskey. There's something similar in the character. It even said on the website, you don't have to be Punjabi to enjoy Punjabi Club. <laughs> Let's see now. Yeah, that's that's very interesting nose. That rye and leather. I, I don't know how they got that. Smells to me like they've done something right. 
50% ought to be just perfect. Let's give it a try. Mm. Nice spicy rye flavor. And this is one that tastes exactly like it smells. I'm getting rye and leather. There might be a few other things in there. Mm. I'm liking this. I like it already. For bang for the buck, this stuff is wonderful. It's inexpensive. It's strong tasting. It's got a full body. And the aftertaste, even after drinking water, the aftertaste is still there. There's like cloves and coriander and spices. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Okay, there's a lot of spices with the rye. I'm not getting much in the way of um, fruit or anything like that. It's mostly spicy and rye. And there's also that hint of leather. There's also... I don't know, is it like a rosemary kind of taste, which is kind of interesting. Mm. That is a very potent rye. This is I don't know. I'm liking this. Um, anise. Anise seed. I'm getting anise seed. You know, now that I'm on my third sip or so, it's tasting almost like, like ouzo or what's that other? Yeah, ouzo. It's almost like like, um, like anise seed. First it was more like rye and leather. Now that's morphing in towards anise seed. It's, it's, it's like an ouzo. Strange. I never thought that I would try a whiskey that tastes like ouzo ever in my life. Let's see if it changes some more on the palate. This is this is quite intriguing. <laughs> and I've never tried Amrut. Um, I may try it someday. But here I am trying this American rye made by people whose family is from Punjab. <laughs> mm. Oh. More rye again and leather and anise and rosemary, um, lavender maybe a little bit. It's not, a, not really floral. I would call it more herbal than floral. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting experiment. It's always... It's always intriguing and interesting to try something completely different. And although this, this has a similarity to some Indian whiskey that I have tried, which I can't say that I've tried a lot. I have tried some cheap Indian whiskey. And this is cheap American whiskey made by Indians. <laughs> it's cool. And... I guess they learned how to make the whiskey in India, the way they make it there. 
Ja. Mm. Mm. To the to the Minhouse Distillery. Cheers. Food quick. Uh, food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>